Um, good day, guys. Um, just to let you know, uh, on the 15th of February, I got a call as regards to um, an unidentified um, chopper being seen at um, at Gulwa, and um, there was two key witnesses. Obviously, I won't identify them by name, but the information that I got was that the chopper was a, a satin black in colour and had the the symbol of the ABC symbol on it. So on this report I decided to um, ring up the ABC and actually see if they actually had a news chopper and after making contact with the ABC station at Collingswood I found out that the ABC has never even owned a black satin news chopper or even a news chopper in fact. So what I'm doing today is um, I've actually come out here with one of the key witnesses from that day who's going to uh, just go over what um, what he saw and like I said there was two other key witnesses, the other one was a female and again for their identity purposes I'm not going to disclose their names um, I can basically say that um, we can give them the, uh, the name of M but um, so we've come out here this morning um, Monday the 21st of February and um, I'm just going to get M to um, give a description on, on what happened on the day and, and what was around and the type of day it was and what he actually saw um, and then from there on I will be making a further investigation into this and hopefully we can connect the dots as regards to um, um, what is happening, if anything, at all. So um, I'm just going to turn this around and um, and we'll leave it up to uh, M to, um, to explain that. Uh, Feb, um, we're at the, we were at the end of the uh, Goolwa Beach where the mouth of the Murray River is. Um, popular fishing spot. But the day that we were down there there were um, probably only a, a couple of other four-wheel drives actually at the end of the beach. Uh, we had parked ourselves, we were just having lunch and uh, noticed that the, those other four-wheel drives that were here had left and then not long after that um, we were buzzed by a, a helicopter um, which was interesting in itself because it was quite low. It was probably maybe 150 to 200 feet when we initially saw it in height. Um, it went out to um, hover over a, a group of pelicans and seagulls that were probably about 100 metres off the coast. Um, with, uh, we don't know what they were doing, feeding on, on a school of fish, but uh, it was quite intense out there. They seemed to be... A, at uh, all times uh, we could see them, they were observing us. Um, I noticed really clearly that it was a, a, a satin black or a flat black in colour, the helicopter, and a military style looking helicopter. It wasn't a, a domestic style helicopter at all, it had open sides on it. Um, there was one uh, male occupant that was strapped in and he was sitting on the side with his feet on the actual um, uh, feet um, of the helicopter and um, after being out observing the birds um, they circled us twice in very very close proximity to us they would have only been approximately 100 feet in height above, um, above us they circled around us um, in probably a 200 to 300 foot diameter circle um, initially and then they came around a second time and they were even closer. The interesting part then was, and all the time they were observing us, um, the interesting part then was they landed their helicopter probably about 200 feet away from us. Um, as it landed I noticed that uh, there was a, a symbol on the side of the helicopter it was uh, it looked like an ABC symbol um, but the thing that stood out the most was the 
the white colouring was very uh, washed out of the symbol. Um, it looked like very clearly that it had been painted on with a house brush. Uh, the so the colour wasn't solid, it was very streaky, and it certainly wasn't um, uniform in, in its shape. Uh, it looked very much like it was hand done. The other interesting part was um, the numbers on the back of the fuselage, even at a couple of hundred feet distance, were very unclear to see, and I still don't remember the actual numbers or the letters that were on there, it was so unclear. Um, then uh, when the helicopter landed, it um, the motor was cut so the, it, it actually um, stopped running and then a, a male occupant jumped out, uh, the one that was strapped in. He came out with a, a box um, that had a handle on it was probably about um, a metre long, um, 0.9 of a metre in height and about uh, 0.4 of a metre in width and uh, unfortunately timing wise we had to actually go because uh, we had to be somewhere but um, uh, so we didn't get to see as much as I would have liked to have to see what was going on with it but um, for the fact that they buzzed us so closely, it was a little bit disconcerting, um, considering it did look like a, a military-style helicopter. Um, so, um, did you uh, uh, identify um, at all what type of clothing um, that yeah. they might have been wearing? Uh, it was only the occupant that jumped out that I could see that was strapped in. There were, I, I noticed there were others there, but it was in it was darker, so I couldn't see what they were wearing. But the the one that jumped out and the one that was had been strapped in while it was in flight had uh, khaki coloured pants uh, that were um, like cargo pants. He had boots on. Um, one could say military style, but it could be looked upon as um, just good, good quality boots, um, black in colour. Uh, jumper was a, a green colour. Um, so you could say he was dressed uh, smart, casual. Uh, he was obviously quite fit. Um, you could see that in his build. Um, and uh, whatever was in the box, if it weighed a lot, it, it wasn't noticeable with the way his effort was in getting it out and moving it around. Do you know um, probably approximately what size this, this box may have been? Um, I, I did say uh, it was about a metre long, right. um, about 0.9 high, 0.9 of a metre high and about 0.4 in, in thickness. So it looked like just the trade that I'm I've been in in construction and uh, making things. Um, it looked like the sort of uh, box uh, that would hold equipment of some sort. Um, it didn't. It wasn't a suitcase. It was uh, more obvious uh, of a, uh, a protective box that would contain something valuable. Okay. Well, thanks very much, Em. And uh, is there anything else that you want to? Um, include no I don't think so I think that pretty much uh, covers it um, just the big question is why was it here mm. that's, that's what we've got on our lips yeah which is which is one of the reasons we've come out here together to to um, piece together and that's like you said the bigger question is why and um, like I said we'll follow this up more and hopefully get some answers but I uh, do appreciate your time into um, letting us know what happened on that particular day and and uh, hopefully we can uh, come to some answers. Thanks, so, thanks Werner. Thank you.